Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I hope you like this background. Um, this is a very cool background going on. And I wanted to mention too that I am using my GoPro for this video simply because I tried it once before. If you watched my test videos last week, you saw me use two different cameras. One was my Ghost XL and the other one was my GoPro. The problem was I had my GoPro Pro setting too close to me. So I learned from a forum that you can either have your camera five feet away and zoom in on yourself, which this camera does not do, or in post, you can actually zoom in on yourself in post and it'll still look okay. So I knew how to zoom in on myself in post editing or in editing, but I didn't know if I could do it with a green screen. So there's tricks I had to learn, like you don't use the chroma key until you get your zoomed in on yourself. Then you render that video. So you make that video possible. Then you drop that back in there. Now it's a solid video with no zooming. Then you do your chroma key in your background. So that's pretty cool. Now the other thing is that um, I was told you can't use a GoPro to do green screens. I went through a bunch of different forums because I'm trying to figure out a way to do videos as quickly and as simple as possible. And you've seen in my 4K video, that was a beautiful, beautiful video. I mean, that came out crystal clear. Here's the problem. I have not been able to get my phone to focus on me since that day. Every time I set my phone up, I have to use the back camera because it has to, that's the 4K camera. It has to be backward. I have to use the back facing camera. So I have to use that camera. And every time I start recording and I come and sit down and I do my video, when I put it in the editing program, I am fuzzy because it will not focus in on me for some reason. It did it once. Now, why am I talking about this? Well, it goes along with what I dealt with with my dentures. I could eat something once. And then for some reason, I couldn't figure it out after that when I first got my dentures. I could eat something and then, you know, just think it was a fluke because after that, I could not figure out how to eat that item again. And I would fight with it and fight with it and fight with it and fight with it to the point of wanting to just give up. But the issue was that I wasn't focusing on how am I doing this at the time I'm doing it. I was just experimenting with different foods and things. And I'm like, oh yeah, I can eat that. Great. Blah, 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 blah. And then the next time I would try to eat it, I would fail. And I would fail again. And I would fail again. And I would fail again. And I would get so damn upset because I did it once, why can't I do it again? So in the realm of science, an experiment has to be um, replayable, right? You have to get the same results more than once. So a hypothesis, you come up with a hypothesis and you go, okay, I'm going to set the camera up over here. I'm going to light up the green screen. I'm going to have a red light behind me to keep the reflection from the green screen from hitting my back. I'm going to have two 45 degree lights going at the green screen, some lights coming at me, a light overhead, blah, blah, blah. And now everything should work. And then it doesn't. So you, you know, I tried to set everything up the same way I did the first time, but I can't do that because my green screen is now on this back wall of my room because I had to buy a green screen big enough to cover the entire wall in order to use the GoPro. So when I did that 4K video, I was sitting over there in front of the green screen and I was real close to the green screen, but I had natural sunlight coming through the window. And that's what allowed it to the camera to focus in so nice on me. 
now that I'm over here and the window's over there and it's a cloudy rainy day and it's been that way for a few days now, I don't have as much natural light coming in and I think that's what's affecting the camera not focusing on me correctly. So you'll ask, well, dude, why don't you just use your big camera? Well, last week, well, a couple weeks ago when I was working on my truck, the wind blew it over and it shattered on the concrete. So I don't have that right now, but I am going to order another one. Um, I love those Lumix cameras and then I will be able to do nice 4K videos. Now, here's the thing. With YouTube, it took 24 hours for them to process a 4K video but it turned out so beautifully. That was my last video on this channel. That was 4K. So even if you're watching it on a 1080 screen or a 720 screen, it's still going to be crystal clear and beautiful because it's 4K. But it took 24 hours for YouTube to process that video and it took four hours for my computer to process that video once I got it done editing it. So knowing the timeline there, I can get up early in the morning. And by the way, I have no natural light coming through the window today. The curtains are closed. This is all artificial lighting in the room here. It's all artificial lighting. And it's, I think the video, video is turning out beautifully. There might be some green in this cup that's allowing the background to shine through, which again would be very cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know that there's been a couple of times I've tried to do the uh, green screen and I've tried to take a drink with my cup and it changed the whole lighting of the video. And not only that, but the uh, the scenery would show through on the cup. So when you're doing green screen, I don't understand why, but for some reason, I can always see through the top of my head. My hair's not green. And then also, anything green will disappear when you edit your video and you and you use your chroma key. Anything green will disappear. Well, several times I've tried to make this video with the GoPro and my you could see the background through my beard in certain spots. You could see tree branches and, and the waterfall through my beard. And I couldn't figure out why. I don't have any green in my beard, but a kind of a bluish. It's not really gray. It's more of a silvery blue color, my hair. And of course, anything that's close to green will show through. So this shirt is actually purple. I did do a test with my blue shirt on and didn't realize that some of the lines were green in it. It was blue and green. And of course, I had lines of scenery showing through my body. I tried to do with a light blue shirt or a gray shirt. No, because it's too close to green. So the thing is we have to wear like darker clothes or brighter clothes like red. Um, the video I did in 4K, the red shirt I was wearing, everything came out crystal clear. My problem is I have a lot of light blue and light green and light gray shirts. So I'm going to have to come up with some more clothes if I'm going to keep doing this. So the point of this video is to prove that you can do green screen with a GoPro Hero 7, which is what I'm using. And it is possible to get the lighting right, and it is possible to get everything done correctly so that the green screen turns out beautifully, even if you don't have a fancy camera or your phone's not focusing on you. You can still do it this way, and it's no different with your dentures. You can still learn to function with your dentures, even if you don't have perfect dentures. My dentures are far from perfect, believe me. Um, but I've learned how to function with them. And 
we can all do the same thing. We can all learn how to function with our dentures. We may, some of us may have to use adhesive. Some people may have to use a reline and adhesive. And some people like myself are lucky enough to just use denture fit silicone reline on my upper denture, nothing on my lower denture, and I can get away from adhesive completely. By the way, if you don't know what denture fit is, it's a soft silicone reline you can do at home yourself. It takes about 15 minutes total time prep to application to a well-fitting denture. Click the link in the description right below this video. First blue line you see will be Denture Fit's website. If it's your very first time purchasing Denture Fit, use the promo code GURU, G U R U. That'll get you 20% off. And as always, um, my Dentures versus Food channel right there. You can click on that and learn how to eat properly with your dentures. Hit the subscribe button over there. And on this side will be a couple of videos or a playlist you might want to watch. Keep smiling. Keep trying and never give up.